Well, folks, turns out you might have a health disorder, a mental health disorder that you didn't even realize. Uh, video game addiction has become an official mental disorder in a controversial decision by World Health Organization. According to Live Science, video games can be highly engrossing, but can some people actually become addicted to gaming? World Health Organization says yes. Recently, the WHO officially recognized gaming disorder as a mental health condition, adding the disorder to their classification of diseases. Simply playing a lot of video games isn't enough to count as a disorder. Rather, the disorder occurs when gaming interferes with people's daily lives. According to the WHO, gaming disorder is a pattern of persistent or recurrent gaming behavior in which people lose control of their gaming behavior give priority to gaming over other interests and activities, and continue gaming despite negative consequences, such as impairments in their family relationships, social lives, work duties, or other areas. A person typically needs to have symptoms for over a year in order to be diagnosed. The topic of video game addiction has been controversial. The American uh, Psychiatric Association did not include video game addiction in its most recent edition of Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, published in 2013, claiming that there wasn't enough evidence to suggest that it's a unique mental health condition. The video game industry, of course, opposes the classification. In a statement released May 25th, the Entertainment Software Association and others in the industry called on the WHO to reverse their decision. But some mental health experts are supportive and saying that it was sorely needed Otherwise, people with real legitimate video game addiction can often have trouble with insurance paying for their therapy, especially if they don't fit any other diagnosis. Another doctor says that uh, for a mental health expert for who noted that only a small minority of people who play video games will develop addiction problems. And that is an interesting point. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not addicted, it's just that is not generating any problems in their lives, right? So um, to that, me, PC Outcast, I say, what did life ever do for me? Video games have been there for me since I had no life, so I'm not gonna just kick video games to the curb because the Who says I'm sick. 